Hi, I'm Dan Collins, a Sacramento, California licensed real estate broker and general contractor who also serves as a referee in partition actions and as a court-appointed receiver in the California Superior Court. My experiences in real property matters, including brokerage sales involving probate and trust estate properties. If you are a California fiduciary administering a probate or serving as a substitute trustee in an estate, I can help you effectively execute your duties that attorneys do not help you with. To learn more, please visit my website, collinsfiduciarybroker.com. Today, I want to talk with you about how to properly protect yourself when administering an estate with real property during construction for repairs, maintenance, and renovations when they are necessary. As the administrator or trustee of a state-owned real estate, you assume a lot of liability when you undertake construction projects. There are lots of things that can and do go wrong in construction. Probate administrators and trustees temporarily own the real estate property until the estate can be settled and assets distributed to the rightful heirs. Positioning assets to realize their highest value sometimes involves performing construction to cure deferred maintenance issues, even sometimes renovation projects, to realize the highest value from a property. Whether you are a professional fiduciary or a family member serving as an estate representative, proper insurance coverage is critical to keeping you and the estate assets protected. Employing layers of responsibility using properly licensed general contractors who hire properly licensed insured subcontractors is the best way to approach these necessary repairs and renovations. Securing certificates of insurance that name the administrator and or trustee and the estate as additional insureds for liability and workman's compensation insurance coverage is a critical protection requirement for yourself and the estate. When accidents occur on construction job sites, attorneys and insurance companies follow the money in litigation. Because estate properties are often owned free and clear of debt, those properties become targets to satisfy litigants who seek remedies in law. Another risk factor is the subject properties are often vacant and improperly insured. Even if the property is insured, if it has been vacant for over 30 days and the insurance carrier was not advised that the home was vacant, they may reject an insurance claim. This is because you must advise your carrier when a property is vacant because the required coverage is different for vacant properties versus occupied properties. There are layers of insurance that should be in place when undertaking construction projects in probate and trust estates. 1. The home or income property should be insured as vacant property if it is not occupied or you risk not being covered for an event. 2. You should only hire licensed contractors who carry evidence of liability insurance with a minimum of $1 million in coverage and workman's compensation coverage. 3. As a fiduciary of an estate, you want the general contractor's carrier to name you as an additional insured along with the estate named as an additional insured too. Four, and finally, all subcontractors who work on the job should carry proper liability and workman's compensation insurance coverage. They should provide evidence of the insurance in the form of certificates and name the fiduciary Name the fiduciary and the estate as additional insureds as a condition of their contract with the prime contractor. If you follow these recommended layers of insurance and additionally named insured, you will be employing best practices to protect yourself as a fiduciary as well as the estate assets you are charged with protecting. My name is Dan Collins. I act as a fiduciary broker in probates and trusts that involve real property assets. To learn more, please visit my website, collinsfiduciarybroker.com. Thank you for joining me today.